This lesson is about interference. Learning objectives. Connect interference with other properties of waves. Define interference. Graphically demonstrate constructive and destructive interference. And do a practical example of adding two waves. Let's review. Why studying properties of waves? Traveling waves carry energy. Therefore, it has the ability of changing the behavior of matter. Understanding how waves interact with its surroundings is fundamental to predict the direction of its propagation and how the carrying energy will affect matter. Let's see these two examples. Example one, tsunami is caused by undersea vibration that propagates to the ocean surface creating ripples moving to the shore from deep water to shallow water. When the high energy ocean waves approach the shore, its amplitude increases, causing high impact destruction. Example two, high levels of sound waves can overwork hair cells in the ear which can cause the cells to die, resulting in hearing loss. The bottom of the cells sends signals to the brain. When traveling waves hit a boundary, then one of these three situations will happen. Reflection, refraction, or diffraction. A wave will reflect if this boundary is a solid barrier, the reflected wave bounces back to the same median and its wavelength, frequency, and speed will not change. Example, echo for sound waves and mirror image for light waves. The wave will refract if this boundary allows the waves passes through and depending on the nature of the median, this wave will change its speed and wavelength, but frequency will not change. Example, water waves when move from two different levels, from deep water to shallow water, or shallow water to deep water, or an image form underwater, like light refraction. A wave will diffract if this boundary is a solid flat barrier with an opening or even when waves pass around the corner of this barrier. Wavelength, speed, and frequency of a diffracted waves will not change, but its amplitude will decrease. Example, water waves passing through a flat barrier with an opening. When waves travel together through a median, they interact with each other, producing new waves. This is called interference. Interference is when two independent waves traveling in the same median meet, they combine their energy and form other waves. Examples the colors of the surface of a soap bubble, a noise cancellation for sound waves, or even two circular water ripples when they interact with each other on a, a pool or pond. Wave interference. How do waves interact with each other? So let's look at these two independent waves that are traveling in phase through the same median, A and B. So let's take a look on the front view of those two waves. So as you see, waves A and B, the crests align with the crests and troughs align with troughs in any point of this wave. We say these waves, they are traveling in phase. So how do waves A and B 
travel in phase, interact with each other. So let's connect those crests with this line. We could connect the troughs, but to make this diagram simple, so just connect the crests. Now we are going to extend this line and we are going to add this vertical displacement. In this case, is the amplitude. So we are going to add the amplitude from wave A with amplitude from wave B. So when you add them, they are going to double. We are going to add the troughs from both waves as well, even though we don't have this line here. So when you add them, so the trough will be double. And a new wave will look like this. This is the wave C. So what happened here, the result, the result of the sum of waves A and B is the wave C with a greater amplitude. So A plus B is equal C. This is called constructive interference. When occurs when overlapping waves produce a wave with an amplitude that is the sum of the individual waves. Let's see another example. Now we have two independent waves, A and B. They are traveling, but they are out of phase and they are traveling through the same median. So let's look at the front view of those two waves traveling together. As you see, the crest of A align with the trough from B. The crest, the trough from A align with the crest from B. So crests align with troughs. So that is called out of phase. It's a perfect out of phase. So how do waves A and B, A and B, traveling out of phase interact with each other to form a new wave. Again, we are going to connect a crest with trough, crest with troughs, crest with troughs, and so on. And we are going to extend this line and we are going to add those vertical displacement. In this case, here is the amplitude that is positive. This amplitude here is negative. So we have the same magnitude, but opposite direction. So when we add them, you should get zero. Um, so our wave C will be a flat line. So every single point, they are going to cancel each other. So the result of the sum of waves A and B is a flat line. So this is an example of destructive interference when overlapping waves produce a wave with an amplitude that is less than the sum of the individual waves. In this case, it's zero because you have perfect out of phase. So how we are going to combine constructive and destructive interference in the same wave? So let's do this practice ex practical example. So we have here wave A, the blue one, and wave B, the green one. They are traveling in the same direction and through the same medium. So how we add the vertical displacement? We do the same procedure. We draw some vertical lines throughout the wave, like this. Then we have to, to add the vertical displacement in every single line. So let's start with this dark line here, A and B. Um, B is zero, A is a value. So this value plus zero is right here. So we are going to mark this point. We are gonna do the same thing here. Now here we have on both waves, you have a vertical displacement. It's not the amplitude right here for, for uh, the green one, but this is not the amplitude. This is the vertical displacement right here. So we are going to add this point from green and blue. So you are going to double. So it will be something like this. Now the blue one is at zero or on the equilibrium line. And the green one is above the equilibrium line. So we are going to add zero plus this number will be this number. So let's go to our next one. So now the green one is on zero 
and the blue one is negative. So when you add those two numbers, should be right here. So let's go to the next one. Now, on the next one, both they have values, but they are both negative. So you're going to add two negative numbers. So you're going to have also a negative number. So it will be right here. So on this, the next one, as you notice, the blue, the blue wave is not on zero. So there is a little bit of vertical displacement here. So you are going to add this vertical displacement with the green vertical displacement but both are negative so the result is here now the last one we have one is positive and one is negative so when you add those two numbers here you should have one point that is right there so the next thing we need to do we need to connect all those marks that you did on this diagram so the first one is you are going to connect these two and then you're going to connect these two. You are going to connect all of them following the same curve of the waves that produced the black one. So you're going to connect this and the other one. You should have your um, wave, the, the sum of the A and B. The C one should have this type of shape. So wave interference summary. In physics, interference of a wave is referred when two waves superpose to form a resultant wave of greater, lower, or the same amplitude. So interference is also called superposition. So here we have an example of noise cancellation. So we have the noise source and we have the anti-noise source, which is out of phase from this noise source. So when you add those two waves, you should have a reduced noise uh, as a product of adding those two waves. So that's the resultant noise level. Very low amplitude. Now on this graph, you have uh, two traveling waves, um, which is the blue and the green. And when they um, they, they interact with each other and the, the resultant is the red um, wave. So the red wave is the product of the sum, um, is the resultant of the sum of both waves, the green and the blue. Key terms that we learned in this lesson, interference, constructive interference, and destructive interference. So interference, also called superposition of waves. It occurs when overlapping waves add its vertical displacement, sometimes is the amplitude, and produce a resultant wave. Constructor interference in when overlapping waves produce a wave with amplitude that is the sum of the individual waves. And destructive interference when overlapping waves produce a wave with an amplitude that is less than the sum of the individual waves. So we can apply both constructive and destructive interference on the same wave when we are adding two waves. And this is the lesson for today about interference and thanks for watching.